on everyone for today's video we're going to be looking at amazon single bevel broadheads i'm super excited to try these because we've tried a mechanical a fixed blade and a hybrid style this is the fourth out of the four types of broadheads you're going to be finding on the market so without further ado let's take a look at this broadhead and go through the durability and blood trail test so these are today's broadhead these are a single bevel and if you guys look I'll hold it there and hopefully you guys can see on the camera you see there's only one cutting edge right there and if you look on the opposite side it's not like that but if you flip it over it's the same thing this is a single bevel and what's really good about a single bevel is that when you only have one bevel you're going to get less resistance because you have less cutting surface but the same cutting diameter hopefully that makes sense but what i mean by that is if one side is cutting the other one is not it's just being pushed through so it's less resistance that's going to give you really good penetration I like these broadheads for the fact that they're really good at penetration and they're a cut on contact style tip. Cut on contact style tip broadheads are always a go to. You guys know my thoughts and opinions. I'll leave a video about uh, broadheads right here in the uh, fixed blade uh, one that we did here. You guys should like that quite a bit and I think you'll get a lot of information out of that. But with that being said, that's today's broadhead. Let's go ahead and shoot it into our blood jug and into our plywood. So I get all sorts of questions wondering why I shoot a jug and a piece of plywood. Uh, the jug is just to show you kind of what the cutting diameter and surface area and what that broadhead's going to produce when it hits skin. It's not designed to be the same durability as skin, it's just to show you what it's going to look like going through an animal. Um, and it'll show you what type of blood you're going to get. The plywood, everyone says, well that's a, not a realistic test. The plywood is just something hard enough. I can't just go and grab a, a random animal out of, you know, a deer. I can't, I can't simulate that all the time, but a piece of plywood is pretty hard. And if, I think if you can go through a piece of plywood and have good structural integrity for your broadhead, you're going to be all right. So with that being said, here we go. Shooting the single bevel Amazon broadhead. Let's do it. This is our Amazon single bevel broadhead going into that jug and into the plywood. Well, let's go. So our broadhead is still in one piece, we'll examine it further, but you can see it went all the way through that plywood and it's still in one piece, looks pretty good. I don't see anything too bad, but we're going to pull it out and take a further examination. I tell you guys, these Amazon broadheads have not been missing. We've tried all four types and they've all done extremely well and this is no exception. This broadhead, the tip is still fine and I won't I won't lie to you guys, I did shoot this once last night. Um, typically I don't. Typically when you guys actually see me shoot a broadhead for the first time, it's generally the first time it's my you know raw reaction, raw impressions. Um, I did shoot this and try to film this last night but it got a little bit dark on me. However, I've shot this twice and the tip is still very sharp. The blade's still plenty sharp to kill a deer if you were to shoot at it. So, you know, these Amazon broadheads, I would definitely, definitely take them out hunting, and I think they fly well. You know, I only shot it from 20 yards, so I'd actually have to tune my bow and shoot a little bit of distance to be able to tell you guys. But I just do this at a very face level, base level, so you guys can kind of see you don't have to spend, you know, $60 for three broadheads or $100 for three broadheads or even $20 for three broadheads. I got these for, I think it was like $18 for six. I'll leave a link uh, down below. So if you guys want to check these broadheads out, you can pick them up off Amazon. I'm super excited to bring these to you guys. You know, they're super sharp. They, they really do work. And if you guys are on a budget, these would be a great broadhead to look at just like the other four. I'll leave a playlist up there. Shameless plug there of all my other broadheads. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and give it one more test. You guys got to see me do the uh, mechanical broadhead that I bought off Amazon shooting it into a brick. And this is no exception. We're going to go ahead and shoot this bad boy into a brick and see how it does. These are our Amazon single bevels with the decimator test. Into the brick and hopefully into the plywood where I can find it. Let's do it. Here is what our broadhead looks like. You can see it's pretty beat up. However... I will say, you know, for three dollars, it's, I mean, it's bent, but it didn't break. You know, you can see it chip stuff, but it's, that's actually the tip there that rolled. Um, this broadhead, you know, being shot directly into a brick, you're not going to hit anything in an animal that's harder than hitting a brick. Um, you know, it's still held up decent enough. I think it would definitely, or actually I know it would definitely kill a deer if you were to shoot it into a deer. I wouldn't have any concern shooting through a deer or any animal. You're not going to shoot anything near hard, um, harder than a brick when it comes to it hitting a deer or an elk or anything like that. Would I give these a pass and tell you guys to go take them out hunting? Absolutely. Would I think they would kill an animal? Absolutely. Um, I'm super, super impressed with these. Um, they're very sharp. Even the blades on the sides that are chipped are still sharp. Um, so definitely give them a pass. But with that being said, let's go ahead and look at the blood, uh, the blood jug that I made for you guys. So you guys can kind of see how it did. Um, we're done with that broadhead. It's no longer shootable. But here is, let me move my phone so I don't rinse it. I don't know how well you guys are going to see that right there. 
that is the cut from the broadhead. I'll move out of the way. Um, blood trail, definite pass there. All that good fun stuff. These Amazon single bevel broadheads definitely get a pass from me. If you guys are interested, like I said, check the first link below. You guys can pick these up uh, off Amazon. They're not, they're very budget friendly. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. That is the single bevel broadhead off of Amazon. So hopefully, with any luck, you guys buy these and kill a deer with them. I hope you guys got value out of today's video testing a $3 Amazon broadhead that's a single bevel. All four broadheads that we've tested off of Amazon have done extremely well with durability and leaving a good blood trail. I think any of them would be effective for hunting. If you guys are interested, I have a playlist right here with all the broadheads that I've done a review on, whether they be cheap off Amazon or name brand that you could find at any sort of outdoor store. With that being said, if you guys can do me a huge favor and leave a like and comment on this video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see y'all very soon. Stay safe. Yup.